News happening this afternoon and take a look at these new pictures coming in. We knew that strong winds were going to be a factor today and here it is a strong gust of wind blowing over a huge oak tree in Pasco County and that tree came falling right down onto an elderly woman's mobile home. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith just arriving on scene. Ryan. Paul and I just learned from Pasco County firefighters fire rescue in fact that this woman I mean she was nearly crushed to death. And the fact that she was speaking to these first responders is simply amazing when you take a look at this damage and what happened here. This is where that oak tree was uprooted. Take a look. You follow the line all the way to her mobile home. Came crashing down this afternoon, nearly splitting her home in half. Intense winds knocking over that oak tree. This is at the Tall Pines RV Park right off US 41 in Pasco County, just south of the Hernando County line. Pasco firefighters racing to this home after learning this elderly woman she was trapped inside and when you go inside the damage, it's just unfathomable. I'm told firefighters use special airbags to lift the oak tree and off of the roof off of the elderly woman. She was trapped underneath the tree and was bent over at the waist. We are told the winds packing enough force to knock over that tree and slice it as we see right down the middle of this home. We are working right now to find out more information about this condition. But again, a representative out here with Pasco Fire Rescue just telling me that she was speaking to first responders. She, of course, has some broken bones, but this was an incredibly close call by the nature of the winds coming down where specifically she was inside her mobile home here. You can see lots of items out here just scattered of debris across her property. Um, we do know across the Tampa Bay area, we've been seeing some high winds throughout this afternoon, up to 40 mile per hour wind gusts across the Tampa Bay area. So that obviously playing a major role in what happened here today. This is a developing story. We'll continue to update you as we get more information. But again, those winds, we feel it right now. It's picking up as we speak. So let's go to meteorologist Shay Ryan to get a first look at the forecast today.